I told you guys all week that I was going to have Prezi Bashment here tonight on a ones and twos. Like, yo, nice, he came nice. in the door, he took his book bag off, and he just started getting crazy. Started going in. It did. He was just like, mm-mm. Off the rip. Off, right? Off the rest of the fuck I'm talking about. In rip. that order. Prezi, walk one. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, thanks for inviting me. Thanks for having me. You know I go big up keys to the streets. Ice junkie, my big friend. You know I go. Presley, how was your day? It was good. It was good. I, I worked. I went to the fitness center, worked out, and now I'm here. I must say you're you're a lucky man because he gets to do exactly what he loves. Like you yeah. work. He works at a radio station. If everyone doesn't know. He works at a radio station doing exactly what he loves to do, playing music and DJing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I must say, tell people a little bit about what you do. So um, I play for a Caribbean radio station, the main Caribbean radio station in North America. And um, I DJ at clubs, concerts, venues, stadiums, That's malls, everywhere. That's a big fact. Let's get it. Let's does. get it. Love that. And he loves what he does. Like, it's always good that you can find what you love and actually get paid to do it. 100%. That man came in here, said hi. That was it. Said, where that? Yep. That's it. it. Had Gotta to get straight ready. to work. Gotta get straight to work. Listen, there's a lot of times, I'm not gonna hold you, you ain't throw shade, but I'm just saying I be at places, and you know, when you're a DJ, you gotta be prepared for everything. Every and anything. And I have some, I kid you not, like they come, oh, this shit, oh man, I can't do this. Okay. Uh, 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 they get all prima donna. I'm like, bro, you never been in the trenches? Like, you never, you never been about that? You know what I mean? I rolled up to 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 big time clubs, big time spots, and they whole system is broke. <laughs> yeah, and you still gotta make that. it happen. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. Whatever it takes to get the job done. I so mean. I applaud that. I applaud that right there. So, so, so how was your day? Uh, man. Besides me recovering from slipping and falling, like. Yo, you know what you be putting in your head? Like, okay, last year I fell about three or four times, some unfortunate shit. And I'm like, I don't never really fall like that. So I'm like, last year was kind of bad. I'm like, all right, this year let's try not to have no fall. Next day, <laughs> slipped and fell. But I was all right, popped back up, and everything's moving. Um, So for the most part, this week's just been on some chill. You know, the weather's been up and down. That's a fact. So had some people's over. Shout out to Ty. Uh, shout out uh, speaking with Ruby. And just trying to, you know, in... Of like in this month off strong, you know, your first 30 days, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm about. That's all good, strong week. So, Prezi. Yes. I want to talk about how Prezi Bashman became Prezi Bashman with DJ and party up and just doing what you love. Well, um. How did it, it all start? It, it started as me going to parties and then like dancing in parties and having fun and then it elevated from that to me keeping parties and from that like I've always been a lover of music like I also produce music and I play four instruments so it's just oh like my god what wow. instruments do you play of, I play the bass guitar Ooh. drums Ooh. keyboard and a little harmonica wow okay I can identify with the keyboard because I play the piano um and the harmonica because I played the flute so Right. Are you self-taught to play these instruments? Yeah, mostly. I mean, I never went to school for Pick up before. yourself on that. Fact, Pick up yourself. Right? So you can actually read the music and everything? like Somewhat. All right. On two instruments, I can read music. Okay. On the other two, I just play by ear. Okay. No, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I should guess which ones, right? Yeah, go ahead. Guess. All right, so by the instrument, name them again. You said the drums? Drums, bass guitar, keyboard, and harmonica. All right, the harmonica you definitely had to read. No, no. no. Damn. <laughs> Shit. All right. Okay, the drums, definitely by ear. No, the drums, I actually can read music. Okay, I fucked this all up. I fucked this package all up. Did you come from a background of music? Yeah, um, yeah, my dad played music, but I learned most of my instruments in church, to be honest. I say, big up church, true. Yeah, definitely. Without church, you would probably wouldn't even be interested or even look to say, let me try this, let no, me play this. 200% right. I How mean, old were you? Uh, when I first started playing, I was about uh, 11. 11 years yeah. old. Right, it's young. Wow. 
He was on it. He was on it. And that is a big... Um, church is a big platform. People don't understand that, man. A lot of positivity comes from there. So if you can start there. Like a lot of great, like known and big artists, they started out in church. That's Every last right. one of them. That's Every right. last one of them. That's amazing, man. That's so what's your inspiration that made you switch and feel like, you know what? I love dancing. I want to, I love throwing parties, but I want to start DJing for parties. What was that point where was your inspiration that said, this is what I want to do? I mean, it started when I reached college. Like, uh, there was a radio station that we had in college. And needless to say, uh, the college that I went to, it was, it really didn't have the Caribbean, uh, they didn't have a, 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 a platform for Caribbean people. Man, so, say it straight, they had no vibes. Yeah. Because they had no vibes at the school. Fuck. So oh, I'm sorry. that's what made me start <laughs> actually DJing. And it started with records. So. Oh, okay. Hey, man, listen. This is. How, how was that experience, though? Like, you saying, this is. Well, how was your first gig, your first time? Uh, you felt like, fuck this shit is wack. <laughs> first time, it wasn't that good. I'm gonna, <laughs> I gotta be honest. It wasn't that good. It was that. And then. You know, we are our worst critics, so. And well, then, we do do it, yeah, man. Oh, no, no, no. Like, he knows. It, it was okay, but I mean, it was a learning experience. And the more I did it, the more passion that I had for it, um, the better I got at doing it. Okay. So, when did you actually rock out on a party and you was like, yo, I fucking killed this shit. Nobody can't tell me nothing. I did my thing. I did that. Well, I, honestly, like you said before, we are our own uh, biggest Worst critics. critics. right? So, for me to say that, I haven't said that yet. I'm still, I mean, I I do what needs to be done for people to have fun and party. I would rather. And you've been doing a hell of a fucking job. Yeah. I would rather. Right now, I will be saying, drop the applause for yourself. <laughs> so if you know what a button is, drop that shit, okay? Bring light in that order. Who? Nah, I feel you. But I, I would rather the fans and the patrons to say that I did a good job rather than me say myself I did a good job. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, I, but, I, but, I, it, but I, it has to be certain a certain time within I mean, yourself I, where you say, Prezi, I'm proud of you. You did that. You got you. You don't give yeah, yourself no kind of reward, def goodness. Definitely, my reward is seeing the people party and enjoy themselves. That's my reward. When I see everybody partying and dancing. Then I know I did a great job. Okay. And if I don't do that, and you've had those numerous of times. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, the the one time I can remember, I DJed at a concert, and it was about twenty thousand people. And with these twenty thousand people, it was it was a vibe. It was an energy that I had never felt before, and it was great. Where were you? I was at Roy Wilkins Park DJing. Okay. Oh, was this for like, I know they have a jerk fest, a yeah, soccer game, it was a for, family, uh, family uh, uh, day. It was for uh, an event called Irie Jamboree. It's a, uh, a yearly concert station. that, yeah, for the radio station. A yearly concert that we kept in the park and it was crazy. And you had a good time? Great time. That's when you felt like you were one with the music where... Yeah, definitely. Like, it just puts you in a total different zone when you're vibing, the crowd is vibing. And you, every, the crowd is feeding off your energy, and in turn, you're feeding off the crowd's energy. Mm. That would make me nervous, but make me excited. Because with that, so much is dependent on you. I feel like the DJ has such an important job. Mm -hmm. Like, without him, there is no party. Nah, that is, that is true. That is true. You can have... Uh, you can have a great venue, you can have a packed house, mm -hmm. but if you have the wrong DJ, then it's all for nothing. I was just about to say that. And then, you can have a whack DJ. You got a DJ, but that nigga ain't playing the right <laughs> shit. It's like, why the, who the fuck hired him? Kill the DJ, let me go strangle him. It's like, 